Hi everyone, uh, this is Dr. Ashwin Kumar, orthopedician, Care Hospital, Hitech City. So today we are going to discuss about heel pain. So what are the common causes for the heel pain? Heel pain is most commonly due to plantar fasciitis and uh, Achilles tendinitis, plantar fasciitis. This is a common cause for the heel pain. Most of us must have experienced it one time in life. So what will happen? Normally in plantar fascia, the plantar fascia will be at the bottom of your foot and it will hold your uh, foot in the normal position. So whenever you stand for longer time, or if you walk or run barefooted on hard surfaces, this tendon will be crushed between the ground and the bone. So that will cause rise the inflammation at the heel part. So it will cause in the pain. So most common symptom of plantar fasciitis in the first step in the morning that will be very painful. But over a period of time, the pain will go off. As you neglect it for longer times, the pain will continue more than half an hour to one hour. So what is the reason for it? So the tendon attaches at the heel bone. So that is where it is normal weight goes through it. So repeated trauma to that uh, bone and tendon junction will cause inflammation. So that will lead to the plantar fasciitis. So how to diagnose it? It is a clinical diagnosis and very rarely in neglected cases, we can find some bony growth at the heel bone in x-rays. So most of the times it is clinically only doctor can diagnose the plantar fasciitis. So once you diagnose the treatment has to be started as early as possible. The most important thing in the plantar fasciitis is changing your footwear. So it has to be soft, there should not be any hard in the uh, shoe or uh, footwear. So even you have to use in the home also and as, as well as outdoors also. So this soft slippers or MCR slippers what we call. So these will protect the tendon from repeated trauma with the walking and all. So that will give some time for the tendon to heal. So over a period of time you will feel the betterment. So even with this footwear and other methods also if it is not subsiding now. So we have to go for some invasive techniques. One more commonly used is the steroid injection. And other thing is the newer technologies PRP injection. We will take your own blade and we will prepare platelet-rich plasma from your blood and will give to the plantar fascia. So that will slowly regress the inflammation and your tendon will start healing and you will feel betterment. In very rare cases, you may need surgery in refracted cases.